Hello everyone. Welcome back to a bit of a bit of a offline session. Um, today we're cooking gazillion deck. Uh, mainly because someone had an idea on Twitter and I replied to it and I was like, you know what, I'm really in the mood to play Zillion today. So um This is game one and for those that know, game one always stays in a video, so I don't think we did good into this deck. But you know, we'll uh, we'll see. That thing is loud. Yeah, that is a very large, loud, loud guardian. The uh, by my side. We get the choice of cat, cat, or go. Uh, I'll go cat. So this deck is a zillion like time bomb printer deck. Um, this is Sunny's deck. But instead of Secret Keeper being in this deck, I put the Kiari in because I want to meme with Kiari. I think that's his name, right? Spin it round, throw it uh, hold on, I think I got his name wrong. Oh, I can't. Uh, I can't. Can't check the thing right now. Um. But yeah, well, uh. We'll see how uh, this deck performs. I don't expect it to do great, but that's pretty good. If we can uh, get this off, get a zillion. The only issue is we uh, sacrifice mana gem. We could kill this, depending on what they do. Stand behind me. They won't hurt you. If they hurt you. I never forgive myself. Okay, so they uh they don't get a uh They don't get blade dance off. We lose one mana, but we will uh get Zillion down. So I'll take that as a positive. Okay. One time bomb, please. No time bombs. Uh, okay, for next turn, I'm probably going to go and play this. The way is always the same. So they changed the predict, so the uh, the cat is not as good anymore. It'll always, he doesn't shuffle the deck. Um, so and it's not perfect, we need to uh, remember that, correct, that when we play that one mana cat, to. it'll basically always sit in the bottom 10 cards. So the only way you can find it is uh, by predicting. Uh, into that card, so they'll always know it's in your hand. Uh, but funnily enough, I spoke to Ruben when I was at Riot, um, and he said that that card is incredibly broken because we spoke about the predict change because it happened at the time of the patch, like we were there when that patch dropped. So I said to him, I was like, w "Was there a reason for that?" And he was like, "Um, we just kind of felt like there, there was a re the reason." What Shoulder he said set. for it was, um, Don't worry. It wasn't like a, a he did give a reason, uh, but like he was basically saying that that card specifically, maybe it might be being rotated back in actually. Huh? I mean, Zillion can die actually. I'm not that bothered. See what I've learned? But um, yeah, he was saying Outside that if that card got printed nowadays, it would probably be slow. Um, so I could see that cat returning. Maybe, maybe that's how they fix it. Not by nerfing it to soul, but by changing the, uh, the things. So he's got a blade dance too. We'll block one of them. We'll play the imperfectionist, which can block the Irelia. No more K. I am evil K. We have two time bombs. Sorry, we have four in the deck. Sorry, we have seven time bombs in the deck. Three of them cost two. One of them... Sorry, four of them cost one. Uh, I'm doing this because it forces it out of him, basically. So, we'll see what, uh, see what they do. We can kill them with a double time bomb. So... Hey, Hiari. Uh, so we'll take this time bomb. Now that's one. Um, the issue with this deck is it's very slow. 
and uh, yeah. so Kiaru the Returned is the card, like the meme card in this. Um, I do think I'm going to build a Kiara deck, Kihari, um, in the coming days. Because I think that this card is a really funny build around. Um, ooh, that's rough for us. Mainly because they level next turn. And unless we get the burst speed card as the top deck. We get time bomb, but it's not the burst speed. So this is pretty good for them. We dance to the drums of war. And all oh I guess I can find it. Hold on. So I can do this. Kiari back in the deck. Oh. Yeah, that's exactly what I needed. Because it kills all of those and kills the Aurelia. Yeah, this is the card I was talking about when Ruben was talking about it. He's saying that this card probably would not exist. He said, I think if he printed this now, it would be slow. I think that's what he said. So... Okay. So that is the third buff spell. Uh, I am not gonna lie though, we might be dead because we have no units. And we're dead to a... Uh... Yeah, what can we, uh, what can we top deck here? I think we're just dead, right? I think it has to be this. Yeah, I don't play these kind of decks, by the way, so if I'm misplaying, um, Follow my lead. that's why. Literally, it doesn't matter where I block, because it'll just... Uh, Blade Surge away. But yeah, no, uh, I didn't think this would be a great matchup, but surprisingly, I did more damage than I thought I would. I think they misplayed. Okay, yeah, that, uh, that'll probably do the job. So, uh, Blade Dance is gonna Blade Dance, and, um... We'll let them. Uh, we'll, we'll let them get their uh, get the combo. Oh wait, they actually don't kill us. They do put us to two though. Okay. So we can do this. Maybe into a one mana flash bomb. Oh, into a one mana this actually. Hold on. And we can do this into this. Another blade dance. Probably is right. It's the recall one. Recall this and blade dance. Hmm. Um. Oh, that's actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good pull. Now we play this and we get a quicksand. And then if we somehow, we top, top deck a time bomb. Actually, no, if they're going to pass, I'm going to pass. Um, 
they dance to? We block, block. Okay, I'm seeing the vision. I'm seeing the vision. Okay. We resolve. He gets that. We do this. We go down to one. Let's get a blade surge. Or quicksand. Okay. I'm seeing it. Okay, he does that. So we have like two. Okay, we got a time bomb. It's not quite. Yeah, I don't think we can. I don't think we can win from here. Damn. So he got the third discipline of force. Uh, sorry, twin discipline, uh, which gets him the win. Which is really annoying because I actually think we were pretty close. But, you know, like I said, we were doomed from the start, really. It's a zero earlier. But, uh, yeah, game one, we're, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. You can feel it. I can feel it. We're going to get a win with this deck. Kihiri is going to be the win. I can feel it. Guess we're going for round two. Uh, let's see if we can get a better start, then. Um... Okay, so like this, into this. Yeah, so the the predict change for those that weren't here was that the when you predict, it no longer shuffles the deck anymore. Um, so you just look at three cards. Okay, double Rite of Passage is good, because we can like burst speed kill. Um, so... The Emperor commands, the land obeys. Okay. Um, I will take the clockling. With the power of time, the possibilities are endless. Um. This can go Not here, safe. this can go here. Don't want to take too much damage. We'll play this. Maybe try and find anything, please. Uh, Fallen Feline's actually not that bad, because if we can find the... You're going to burn that mana? Sure. I don't think I win through pushing damage anyway. You burn one mana? Like, I know you have a lot of spells in your deck, but like... You kind of just want to develop. So yeah, we can play this. We now have... If we play the other feline before we play this, it's probably better. But for, like, mana-wise, I think it's just better if we utilize all of our mana. Because if we play this, we can't play anything else. We technically just burn mana. So, not the best. But yeah. Ideally, we would, we would have played this into this, and then we have a higher chance to find at least one of them. So then it's a every two blade, in, every feet in its place. 33, 34 chance. Oh, uh, well, I'll take. Do you want a zillion? A zillion or a zillion? Uh, I'll take the zillion. Uh, can I? Can I not have my? There we go. Your mana. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna take a little bit of damage here. Um, let's hope the opponent doesn't have twin discipline again. Uh, we'll take the two damage because we need to block the incoming four damage. And then we'll take the three from the Aurelia. Don't touch it. We want to keep this alive. So yeah, we can play this. Ooh. I don't really want to find that in the uh, predictions. Cheat blockers. Okay, so there's a time bomb. We can do time bomb next turn. Once it pops, we have then these online. Uh, the Kiri needs to. Uh... It's such an interesting card. It's definitely an echo card. Because echo predicts heavily. 
uh, compared to Zillion. Like, Zillion predicts, but, like, Echo predicts. And this is more, uh, gently, uh, more gently. of a thingy card. Echo card. Um, okay, so we'll just play these. We'll play the Time Bomb next round. It'll pop off the turn after. Uh, Aurelia will have leveled by then, so... Ideally, we need to find another Time Bomb. So that we can get the burst. Because what you do, you do play this, play this, play a Time Bomb afterwards. And then it's Time two damage wasting. burst from these. Well, these are focus speed, but you know what I mean. So... We have blockers now anyway, so... Why would we play this? Why would we not play this on the attack? The next turn. I assume he thinks I'm gonna go and attack with everything here. Which I'm just not. Countdown is round start. So if I play this, this is gonna die anyway. This will die. That will die? That's pretty good. Uh, pretty good and we have another zillion so we can start using the zillion to block then if he kills it we can Just a moment. we know he's we know what this guy's running right we know he's running three twin discipline and one um Sorry, three twin discipline and two shape stone, I think is what I saw. Why is the text so small? Oh, it's because the crater zillion in hand probably pushes the text. To play, place a card in your hand. For, this, for some reason, this card does not feel like a, a Legends of Runeterra card. It feels like, I don't know, something from another card. Game. Like, I, I feel like I could see this on like a magic card. To play, place a card from your hand into your deck. Predict, then create an exact copy of your chosen card. It's a zillion in your deck. Um, so yeah, we want zillion to die so we can replay this. Get more time bombs in the deck. Okay. We were born in the first land, and we will defend them until the end. So we basically just block everything. Block, block, block. Real good to see you. Block, block. Okay, he will swap this and this. So I would rather that. I want the Zillion to die. I want him to try and... Well, Blade Surge like this. To kill this. But I want to make sure that the Zillion 100% dies. And if I put the Zillion here... Yep. Yeah. Be big braining. So we want to get the Zillion down. We know this is dying and this is dying next turn. And Aurelia will take... Um... damage as well from thing. Okay, so we've got the time bomb. Um, do we want to take this, though? Because we want to get more of these in hand. Yeah, I think that's the plan. I think you're supposed to take the uh, evil K. This goes down to two. The evil K. Do that, do that. I expect more blade dancing going on this turn. You're letting me replay the zillion? It's kind of crazy. More time bombs? <laughs> well, if you insist. Um, so yeah, we evil K again. Paths leave me here. Boom. So we evil K there. That's the funny thing with Zillion. Like, he dies and he becomes a problem where you have to, like, answer him. But, like, if he dies, like, the first one and the second one, you're not actually that bothered. Also, you just forget how cool this guy looks when with the redesign that they got. 
like super frail. Like, very skinny. My heart races. What if I falter? If you fall, I will always catch you. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to block, right? We're down to five. Yeah, I think we just. Time bomb. Time bomb. Double kill. Time waits for no one. No, no one, one but, but me. me. Got all of his voice lines. The funny thing now is if he blade dances somehow, he won't have a, a way to protect the Aurelia. I mean, I guess he has two. If he blade dance, he'll have the blade dance plus the soldier. This goes off. Bam! Oh, we can put the Kahiri into the deck. Um. The Yordle here is with me. Oh, this got summoned as well? Okay. I was like, huh? What just happened? Uh, I think we're supposed to take time trick here. Oh wait, we're predicting. Uh, I predict into the time bomb then. If it was selecting, I think you pick the other option. Also, we are kind of screwed if they have a Nopify, which I know they do run in that deck. We said we'd dance together again someday. What could we have known? Huh? Like this? Okay, I guess we have to try and get a Scrying Sons surprise with it. Fly true with one heart to another. So it's like here, here, here. Uh -uh. Hope they don't have a buff. Uh, alright, time bomb. And then if he has a buff, he has to choose either to save the Aurelia, which he w shouldn't do, or save the Green Glade from this. Uh, if, he, if he has a buff, he should know not to use it on the Aurelia, basically. Unless he has two. That would be the correct line of play. Aww. What do you just tap out of mana? I just get to do whatever I want now. Wait, well, when I run it, we gotta win. Wait, what do I actually get here? Oh my god. Okay. So we do this, and then we literally... Oh, you can just put this on the stack and we've got a one. Oh, well. GG. <laughs> Hexite Crystal, kind of kind of good, eh? Kind of good. All in the shoulders. So you just safety block. These are my streets. For the Hexite Crystal. Claim the win. We got the revenge. We took down the Azir earlier player. <laughs> Celebration times. God, that feels so good. That the, the sweet revenge. A teacher to us all. This is very interesting because I'm fairly sure that is the deck that is going out on YouTube tomorrow. The uh the Aura Shen. So and I actually think this hand is really good. They have a lot of one like the the one unit stuff, the three ones, the I don't even know what they're called. Kinku student? Yeah, the Kinku student is a three, two mana, three, one. When an ally gains barrier, I also gain it. I don't know how it's actually worded, but that's, that's basically what it is. Um, which is really good, uh, really bad, sorry, into uh, time bombs. 
So if I can get some early time bombs down, I can clear those out. Uh, we do have an issue though with the Fiora, so let's see. Oh, uh, you know the Fiora problem. I mean, we probably still do have one, but uh. Haven't I been here before? Stay back! Stay back! The burning two mana. Yeah, don't mind that at all. Yeah, so Fiora comes down. Uh, I'm gonna do Rite of Passage print. So I don't think they have tough. So if I can somehow get the time bombs down, I think this Fiora just dies naturally. Like we won't have to worry about it. So like it's a little worrying, but like we know that we can kill it eventually. Okay, place a card into the deck, then create a copy of the card that you choose. Okay, I wanna place the time trick right now into the deck. So I wanna find a time bomb. And if I can make two. Uh, what happens if I skip? I don't think it gives me anything, right? Oh, yeah. Um. So we're gonna get another one of these. Yeah, I think I should have skipped actually. I don't think it was good. I actually think it was quite bad for me to take that. I think it was bad for me to take the everything. Eye of if I'm being on, if I'm being truly honest here, uh, okay. Destroy one of the mana gems. Get a zillion. Hope to God we find time bombs. Clear out the Fiora. Pretty good find. The way is always the same. Okay. But if they get barrier now. We can kind of counteract it. Two worlds, one balance. Sand, breathe. A time bomb here would be so incredibly insane. You do not understand. We'll do it after combat. Because we need to be able to block down. Shen's leveling? It's a little scary, actually. I find them unworthy. Try me. Observe, learn. Vine and wisp, steady my hand. So like, I'm always gonna do the exact same watch here. Like I said, if we can just find one, one time bomb, I think we're okay because it's gonna kill. Well, it killed this. So even if he has protection for this now. Like a barrier. Wait. We're double drawing next turn anyway. Fiora needs to kill two more. If we played this, it'd be one more. Time bombs? Hello? There's eight in the deck. Okay. Eight out of four, tech. Come on. Eight out of four, tech. Come on. Give me a time. Hey! Oh, nice. Boom! And the beauty of House Laurent. Uh, I guess I can get them to play something to save the Fiora. If you don't do anything now, they will lose Fiora. And they're not pushing enough damage next turn. The threat and lethal. Alright, we dealt with the Fiora. That is really good.
gentlemen, ladies, the honor is yours. Okay, time bomb. Time bomb. Oh my god. So we can do this and then this, and it clears out. This kills the Shen and it kills this in combat. They'll still get um, a random challenger from your regions. But, ooh, that's pretty rough. Okay. Um, do I want a zillion here? I might actually want a zillion. We can't rally. We can get more time bombs in the deck. Uh, we need to evil K the... Um, write a passage. The Shen dies. So we'll get a blocker from the Evil K. We'll have zero mana rights of passage. Two worlds, one balance. Um. So we can predict into the time bomb, basically. Quick Sunday is very nice. So we're pretty wide. We'll play this. We know they have a challenger. They shouldn't have Overwhelm in that deck. So when they play the challenger unit, depending on the cost, what if it's Lady of uh, Cythera, Lady of the Clouds? That could that could be scary. But then they tap out of mana, right? And we just block with these two. Oh. Hmm, not the, the baguette. Uh, okay, so it's like time. No, it's passage. It's a time bomb. It's a time bomb. We need to hold this, and then I'll hold some mana up as well, in case. Get rid of that. No elusives then getting buffed. They still have a challenger unit, right? Which is that. Man, imagine we had a time bomb! Imagine we saved the time bomb! Oh no. Uh, okay. So, what we can do is Zillion's gonna die. But, like, they're not threatening damage here, so. So I go. Oh god! <laughs> oh, that's a satisfying win. To say that we're like, we planned it out, we're like, time bombs to kill Fiora and we got it. Chef kiss. Okay. Six. So just Zillion versus just six. Uh, the landmark champions going at it. Uh, let's see who, uh, let's see who does best. So we can predict, look for a passage, uh, Rite of Passage? It's like, what's the first bit? But it's a right card. So we look for the right of, uh, right of Passage that we can copy with the evil Imperfectionists. Uh, we have Zillion for the Time Bombs. And remember, because we have this now, we can let this Zillion die. Akiri? Uh, Alright, let me take some draw. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we have a better game plan than they do. Just, you know, in my opinion. Uh, I'll take cat. I'll take me a cat. Oh, we push one damage as well? He's doing time bomb damage. I wonder if that's a... If that was a thing, like he has the same amount of damage as a time bomb. Interesting. Okay. So Clockling v Clockling. Uh, Ziggs could come down now. But if he does that, we can just block it with this. Play this. We'll play the draw. Oh, okay. All right, so we'll do that. We will block that with the Zillion. Like I said, Zillion can die. We're happy with the Zillion there. There's a Kahiri. I wonder if Kahiri could be a wink on in this matchup. We're both very slow. Like, we both have, like... We're, we're playing for, like, landmarks and stuff. But I wonder if, uh... What now? Wonder if... Kill my zillion. Do it. So, mastery points, 26,000. So he knows... He should know how to play champion. With 26,000, you you should have the general knowledge of champ. Still no uh, still no thing here. Oh, upsetting. Uh, I don't really want to copy anything. I actually just might send this. Uh, we'll pass. See what they do, and then I might just write of calling. Um, and get the the zillion death. Another day, another okay. explosion. Um. Quickly. Let's do let's do this then. Send him in. Then we'll play right of call and play the second zillion. Um Right of Call in being zero mana when it was released was uh, certainly certainly a card, eh? It's actually like a Path of Champions card. It was just it was just like, hey, this is just draw a champion. Another Kahiri buff? One well, ironically might be a Kahiri game. Which is kind of funny. We'll take the uh, predict. Like this being a 7-7 seven, seven is not bad. Okay, we get that. Get a Kahiri. Maybe it is. Maybe it actually is a Kahiri game. We just copy the Kahiris. Okay, so he's gonna do that, and then I'm gonna just play the perfectionist on Kahiri. <clears throat> and I will try. I don't think this is gonna work, but this can be like the, the prelude to the uh, Kahiri game that's gonna uh, come soon. I'm gonna try for a uh, Kahiri. Win con. Uh, so this can go here. This can go here. This can go here. And I don't actually want you to kill that yet. So you, you can just take the damage. Uh, let's do this. I'd rather that one be dead. And then we only have to deal with a 2 1 rather than a 2 3. Yeah, so we play Kahiri. Um, the only issue is a very slow, like Let's tempo. Like we get a seven-seven, but remember, time spent planning is never wasted. Time spent planning is never wasted. That's, this is just a blocker. Yeah, and then when we play this Kahiri, we can do this. Why would you poke stick that? That's my question. Why would you ever poke stick the Kahiri? So my plan is we play this Kahiri. This and then when we play the careful prep, it could potentially... Um, well, we've already put more Kahiris in the deck, right? So, we start with three, we put four, so we seven in the deck. 
7 out of 40. Put a card back into the deck. Probably put the evil perfectionist. Get a copy in hand. Yeah, so there's there is the high odds that if he's trying to like kill this with like ping damage, he doesn't trade how he thinks. I've seen it all. Uh, right, I'm gonna do it with the Bakai, so we'll see. I didn't hit one? Well, that's kinda wild actually. <laughs> if I'm being being honest with you guys, I think that's kinda wild. Uh Let's go for clock. Let's go all in on the predict and see if we can get Kahiri. The only issue is uh, there do be landmarks being played here. One Kahiri dead. We do have four mana Kahiris in the deck though. And if we can get the four mana Kahiris predicted. Uh, if we can find a, sorry, if we can find a four mana Kahiri. We can make it even cheaper. Oh wait, I'm just thinking. If we find a four mana one with the Quarkling. We turn it into a three mana one, and then we can use Evil K. Oh, hello. Uh, hmm. As much as I do want this, I actually think I'm going to take the time bomb. Oh god, it's Acolytes? Oh my dear god. Alright, right of calling. So this is the third zillion then. Uh, so we attack like this. That's a four mana one. Okay. Huh? I'm not a fan of that. I don't have any blockers for that. Literally, I die to their open attack. Unless well, I. Yeah, I was already dead to the uh, the open attack, but okay, we tried. We tried our best. Wait, why didn't he? No, I'm very confused. He literally had a lethal with person. Guess he's gonna go for burn. So we'll, do, we'll play this like this, okay. then we'll attack, so we'll trade off this with one of these, then we'll play the time bomb. No more wasting time. We are actually just going to get burned to death. Oh, we got Overwhelm? Alright, it's GG then, I think. Um, yeah, so we have to, like, top deck the Quicksand. A bright future. That's that just only wing con. If we top deck... The, uh... Like, the only way we survive is if we top deck Quicksand. 
Maybe he develops. Okay. This guy's cringe. Nah, but I can see the vision. Kihari de Kihiri? Kihari? Kihiri. It's coming. I can feel it within me. I feel the cooking. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this deck. Is it a good deck? Probably not. Probably not. We didn't really go against any meta stuff. But, like, I'll show you the deck list quickly. I'll do, like, a quick breakdown. Um, yeah, so your drop, uh, your drop borders are your, uh, like, your prediction, like, safety. Form Feline gives you the maybe the most broken card in Tilt and Zorn. And that says a lot. Um, Rise of Colin to draw your Zillions. Uh, predict, predicts, 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 draw. Uh, burst Speed, Landmark, uh... Zillion putting time bombs in your deck. It's a one of quicksand. All right, so maybe if I was going to adjust this deck, I would do take the... Hmm, maybe take one right of calling away, because we I think we, we drew it quite a lot. So for now, I'd take one of those away and add in an extra quicksand. Um, But maybe, maybe people like... Maybe you've had some games where you really need right of calling. So maybe you could change that back up. But yeah, predict and draw... Uh, create copies and make them cheaper. And then, uh, yeah, this was Sunny had Secret Keeper here, and I don't like Secret Keeper. Kahiri, though? Kahiri is my kind of card. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys tomorrow for maybe Kahiri. Maybe I'll give it a break. Maybe not Kahiri into Kahiri, but uh, Kahiri will be coming in the next couple of days. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.